again, I'd encourage you, if you play any hands that are of any interest, whether you did particularly good or maybe you had a, a bit of trouble with, please send them in. Um, you can send them to the, the LBO Bridge account, which is hello at, oh, sorry, hello LBO is the username, so you can send hands there. Um, other than that, uh, let's get on with the tournament. So, today we're going to be looking at the concept of hard or sharp values versus soft or, yeah, I, I don't know what the other word for that is, but. <laughs> so, hard values or sharp values are names for, when we pick up a hand, when we've got aces or kings. Especially when we're playing in a trump contract, aces and kings are worth a lot. Because, for example, if you've got ace-king to four cards in a suit, the pilot's got a doubleton, you t win the ace, win the king, and then you might be able to rough the other two or trump the other two. Yeah, so normally aces and kings are very good control cards. Queens and jacks, often a lot better in no trumps, where... Queens and jacks often make tricks. Yeah. It's, uh, well, if I've got a 16 point hand with four aces, that will definitely make four tricks, but might struggle to make any more. If, I, if I've got a 16 point hand with a smattering of kings, queens, jacks, and tens, then I may I may make more than four tricks in no trumps, but probably not four tricks in a trump contract. So today, if we're going to look to be bidding any sort of trump games or playing in part scores or whether we should take the final push to compete, we'll be assessing our hard values, aces and kings, as, as positive features and queens and jacks less so. Okay, so each week I'll talk about uh, some people will play standard American style. Maybe if you do lessons with Adam, maybe even with Pam. So, others here will uh, be doing ACOL based systems. So opening every card is four. The robot plays as we know a better minor and an American style. So we'll follow what they. Uh, what they do, but I'll be telling, keeping an eye. Oops. <laughs> As I say, that opened a diamond with my 15, 16 count. So I'd like an undo, but alas, you know, <laughs> starting off well. Partner said they've got four spades. East wants to play in a no trump. Quite happy to let them defend. Right, as I say, normally we should open a no trump on this hand, but alas. We've done it now. Um, partner said they've got four spades. I'm going to trust partner and need their suit. Yeah. So it looks like partner's got jack to four here, which is good. Lead the queen to try and crush any spade in the east hand. And um, we'll just follow through with our plan. Yeah, we're going to sell partner spades. We play a spade. Our hearts aren't going anywhere for now. Jack of hearts is definitely not going to be a winner, is it? Because there's the queen and the ten on our left. So, <laughs> okay, good question, Jilly. Uh, so in the auction, oh, it's looking quite promising. Uh, we'll come to the auction in a moment. Take our two heart tricks, make sure we beat a no trump. Okay, plus 100. 
not the end of the world. Okay, so let's have a look at this auction. Jilly rightly pointed out. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, if you were playing Akol, this would be a very Akol style auction. Uh, a diamond from the south hand, west bit, of, west bit of heart. Now north, it's very common to play double as four spades and a spade showing five. Um, this is very consistent with lots of other bidding methods. For example, a diamond, a spade over call. If north doubled that, that would show four hearts. So typically double shows four of the other major here. And a spade showing five means that if, not with the hand they've got, but if north had bid a spade, I could raise on just three because partner's shown five. Um, so that differentiating between four and five spades is often quite important. Um, nine card fits are something perhaps for another day, but typically when you've got a nine card major fit, you only need about 23 high card points to bid a game in the long run. Not all of them will make, but so having this differentiation, if partner bids a spade showing five and as opener, we've got four card support, we can start to bid games quite aggressively now. Okay, let's focus in. We're not gonna, we're not gonna <laughs> distract ourselves by talking too much here. Yeah. If you're playing Akko, you'd open the south hand a weak no trump. As we're playing sort of standard American with a strong no trump, we'll open it a diamond. West doubled, let's take out. North being a spade, showing four. East bidding two hearts, just trying to play in two hearts. So we can see here. The robot likes to play these support doubles showing three spades. We can't even do that. So as we've got a minimum hand, we'll pass and let North decide what they're going to do. Okay. So North's got two suits, spades and clubs. They've got, they, they were, well, they're trying to bid a game. It looks like they might be a bit worried about a heart stop. Now, we might be able to make a lot of tricks in spades and clubs, but maybe one, one heart stop isn't enough. Yeah, three hearts would bid it, or bidding the opponent's suit will normally check for a stopper in that suit. We've already got one, so I'm not so inclined to do that. In practice, normally in these auctions, I bid three no trumps and hope. Yeah, won't always be pretty like this. <laughs> okay, this contract is a bit dicey, we'll say that. So, we'll duck one. I wasn't expecting this from the robot, I must admit. Oh, it switched to a club, interesting. So, trick one. Three of hearts, two, nine, four. Okay. So, I think West is... Hmm. I mean, this club, it looks very natural to play the ten. Um, but with the robot, why wouldn't the ro why wouldn't East just continue hearts? They've got a big heart fit. So I think something weird's going on. We'll play the 10. It's not going to win. Yeah. I don't think the king will win either. Well, this certainly is a weird defense. Okay. I'm very skeptical about this, that they've switched tax or tactics. Okay. Hmm. 
We've taken four tricks, so we're going to try and combine some chances here. Uh, we'll play a diamond to the king. Oh, blimey. I thought this contract was very doomed, but looks like we'll probably be making this. I was quite, I'm quite shocked at this. <laughs> it, it works out quite well on the board, but yeah, I must admit, <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Turns out the robots don't, in a shocking turn of events, the robots don't defend perfectly. <laughs> yeah, very weird. If they'd have just continued hearts, we'd have gone off very trivially. Yeah, uh, they've, they've just got so many tricks. <laughs> That's kind of, kind of crazy to me, but... Okay, good question, Jenny. Uh, to change the suit at the three level, you needed 19 points. That tends to be in auctions like one spade, one no trump, and then we jump to three clubs. That hand is... Uh, in, that's in an uncontested auction when partners shown six or more, six to nine points to bid a no trump. We need 19 plus because it's a game forcing bid. Here, in this auction, it's very competitive. Uh, let's bring the hand up. Yeah. After, in this auction, it, well, in auctions in general where the opponents are competing to try and sort of earn the right to declare the hand or to try and buy the contract, you introduce suits here on a lot less value or on a lot less high card points just to try and, again, buy the auction. So here, South's promised 11, 12 points for opening the bidding. So North, with their, on this hand, 10 points, decided that they could probably play at the three level because they were, or well, the robot decided they could play at the three level because they've probably got the balance of power. So 21, 22 plus high card points and didn't really want to defend two hearts. I mean, if you look at the north hand, you'd rather not defend hearts, would you? You might have two spade tricks, a diamond. Part, south hand's got a heart, but we're starting to run out of tricks now. I mean, the way the robots defended this, we would have, uh, we would have probably conceded 110. Instead, we made 600. Yeah, so it'll only be with a typically a jump, and it'll only be in auctions where it's just you and your partner bidding, rather than an auction where the opponents are trying to come in and mess with you. Okay, on to the next one. So let's have a look. We've got six points in spades, seven in hearts is 13, king of clubs is 16. Ace of diamonds, jack of diamonds. Looks like we've got 20 to 21 points. Looks like a Tuna Trump opener to me. Partner transfers to, to spades. Again, whatever system you play responding to a no Trump, you should probably play it here as well. Hmm, okay. Interesting hand. So, let's count some tricks, shall we? We've got the Ace of Spades. Ace King of Hearts is three. Two Diamonds is five. We might need to get a move on here. So, we could play clubs, but we don't have two entries to play clubs up twice. So, I think I'm going to play the Ace of Spades and another Spades and hope something good happens, like the Jack of Spades coming down. If it doesn't, we might be in for a rough time. <laughs> okay, we'll duck a heart. 
if hearts are three three, we'll be uh, we'll be getting an extra trick. They take a rough now. It hasn't cost us. Okay. We'll play a diamond across and draw the final trump. Would you be okay with two and trump considering doubletons? Um, personally, I would. Um, Yeah, it's very important to tell your partner the strength of your hand. So if you class your hand as sort of semi-balanced, I would have a go. Um, part of the problem of opening one of a suit is if the auction gets competitive, we're actually not going to uh, be able to get our strength into the hand. I mean, the auction might start. Like you open a club with the south hand and the person on your left may bid two diamonds and now you're trying to play catch up in this auction. Um, let's bring the hand up down here on the right. Um, yeah, on the right here. It also matters what your doubletons are. If you have two small doubletons, um, oh, <laughs> yeah, it, it sort of depends you and your partnership style. I mean, lots of lots of uh, top players consider the this hand shape balanced, or uh, lots of people use the term semi balanced. Um, certainly not what they'll teach you in, in, in the beginner lessons, but. It's very difficult to bid this hand shape. And additionally, your doubletons are ace, queen, and ace, jack. So that's 11 of your 20 points are in your doubletons. So it's not like you've got the weak, the like two small doubleton, uh, like if you've got two small cards in your doubleton, a bit worried about the opponents leading that suit. Here, we don't mind the opponents leading spades or diamonds. In fact, we'd quite like it. So, yeah, three spades, drifted one off. Um, probably not a good board. Could have probably done a little better. But uh, <laughs> I think we always have one of these hands where we always could have done a little better. I certainly have them when I play. Uh, we've got 12 points, so we'll open our longest suit. Yeah. I'm not sure how many of you play on the online BBO sessions or play face to face, but even if we have a bad hand, don't let it get us down. Yeah, I'm going to pass this. I don't want anything to do with this auction. I've got a minimum hand, no heart fit. But yeah, if we if we let one bad board get us down, it'll affect the rest of them. So. Let's have a look at this. Partner doubled again, did they? Let's have a look. Hmm. I kind of want to bid three clubs. It's my longest suit. Partner told me to bid. North said they've got lots and lots of hearts. Well, my singleton spade looks like a very good feature. Um... What do we think? Do we want to raise three hearts to four hearts if partner's got six hearts and what, what did it say? 11 to, oh, less than 11 high card points. Jilly wants to pass. Thanks. Thank you for volunteering your answer. It's always a bit scary saying first. Ah, so <laughs> the first double said they had four or more hearts. Didn't really say too much else. The second double was take out of spades, so they should in theory have some tolerance for all the suits. 
most hands, if they had a normal takeout double, like one spade and four cards in all the other suits, would have probably passed three clubs. But they overruled us. They said, no, hearts is the strain. And I haven't promised any, really. So here, there's three heart bid for the robots especially, say that they've got six, six or more hearts. <laughs> yeah, I know they passed initially. I'm aware. Don't, don't think I've missed that, Jelly. <laughs> but I'm with Jane. I like a, I like a bid. Um, we might not have the classic 25 high card points, but we do have a singleton in the opponent's suit. That means any losers the partner's got, any small cards, will probably be able to try and rough them. So I'm going to bid for four hearts and we'll try and make it. If I'm wrong, you can tell me. <laughs> Jill will be telling you, I told you so. I told you so. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Ooh. <laughs> it's not quite the six hearts that uh, North promised. Okay. So, looks like we've got two top diamonds to lose. Maybe a club. Maybe a spade or two. And a heart. So, we're going to have to work really hard. We're probably going to want to rough some spades in the south hand. But we also have chances to set up the clubs or force a diamond trick. So we're going to have to make a decision. This very much helps. Yeah. It means we only have one spade loser, and that's the three. So I can take the club finesse now. But f finesses with ace queen, they can always wait. I definitely have to lose at least one heart, and I've got to lose two diamonds. So I'm going to lose the tricks we have to lose early and play a diamond up. We don't mind this switch. All our trumps are equivalent, uh, apart from missing the jack. So, hmm. Don't like this ten of diamonds. Don't think East has got the ace here. So I'm going to play small. I'm going to play small again. Uh, it didn't work out so well. I guess West has got the remaining ace. Oh, let me see that. So here you can see West over called a spade. So we lost the two diamonds that we had to lose. We may still have a heart loser. We might not. Yeah. So. Got some decisions now. Do we want to draw trumps? Yeah. If we draw trumps... And we can cash the two spades, and we could rough the last spade. We'd still have to take the club finesse. Because our queen of diamonds isn't a winner. So, because of that, we have to take the club finesse on this hand. Take it. Oh, that's great. It worked out well. Yeah. We'll try the ace of clubs now. It's uh, slightly worrying, but we'll uh, see how it goes. Okay. They decided to rough in. Okay, that's fine. Take our spade and pitch the diamond. Should we pitch the club? Ooh. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So there's still the ten of clubs out there. 
can afford to pitch that. Play Jack of Jack of Spades. I'm going to throw away a diamond now. Then we'll trump a spade. And just at the end, we've got high trumps to make the, the, the last couple of tricks. All a bit touch and go, really. So oh, we'll bring that hand up again. <laughs> Okay, so, sorry, I was a bit too uh, <laughs> busy thinking about the hand to uh, commentate it at the same time. Um, so, once we're in four hearts, we got the two of spades lead. Very helpful that West put in the king for us. As we say, we have to lose two diamonds and we have to lose at least one heart. So, lose the tricks you have to lose earlier. Um, we played a diamond to the jack here. West won the king and played a heart to the ace, which started to help our cause. It meant that we were unlikely now to lose a trump, another trump trick. They played another diamond. East probably wouldn't lead a diamond here if they had the ace, so we can place West with the ace of diamonds. And so we didn't want to get our queen beaten by this ace. We knew the queen or the ace was with West. So we don't want to stick the queen of diamonds in. Save that just in case, you know. The ace might have taken the third trick and our queen of diamonds might have been promoted. For all we knew. So, oh, let's go back. Yeah, at the point that there is, or the hand is now, we have to take the club finesse. We need the club finesse to make our contract. If the king of clubs wasn't with East, we were going off no matter what happened in the hand. So we cashed the ace of clubs because we also needed the ace of clubs to be a trick. And now we knew, well, the jack with West might have been a cunning false card, but in practice it probably wasn't. So we roughed the club knowing that East couldn't, that West was out. So if they roughed in, we could always rough or over rough them, as what happened here. We cashed our two spades because we knew the spades weren't going to get trumped. Yeah, we knew he started with three and West started with five. And so here now, we just need to make sure that our eight or nine make a trick and then our king and queen can make separately later so we rough a spade east roughs we can over rough knowing west has got spades left and yeah a bit of touch and go i must admit <laughs> but is often the way as as we briefly touched on earlier oh let's open this hand of diamond because we've got 14 points um if we've got a nine card major suit fit, we need about 23 high card points to try and bid a game. Partner did advertise six, so I thought we were in that sort of nine card fit range. Uh, I was lied to. <laughs> but it worked out all right. Um, North's made a preemptive three diamond bid. Um, could be right to bid three no Trump, but I don't think so. I'm going to pass. Maybe four diamonds could have been right on another day. I'm not too sure. Ooh, okay. King of diamonds is normally quite telling. Looks like North has got six diamonds now. We had four, West had two. Looks like East just dropped their stiff king. So we're going to have to find a switch here. Did North know this was coming? We'll see. Play the Ace of Clubs and play another club. 
Oh, well done, North. We'll come back to that at the end. How did we know to play clubs? Can we just get finessed by our by our partner here? Hmm. Yeah, so I think Jilly saying one we should open a no trump. If the robot was playing Jack's the, the, the system that Jack's teaching us, then yeah, I'd agree with that. In unfortunately, they're playing an American style system, so a no trump would be fifteen seventeen, and yeah, so we have to open a diamond on these hands playing the American style. Okay, spades drifted off a couple of tricks. That went surprisingly well. So, any guesses on how we found Partners Singleton Club here? <laughs> no problem, Jenny. Okay, so, we cashed the Ace of Diamonds. That was that was trick one. Um, for some of the more experienced players, then there's an idea in here that we can touch upon. Um, <laughs> no one's taking any guesses. So when it looks like there's going to, or when it looks like we shouldn't continue the suit anymore. Is there any point of encouraging or discouraging if we play signals like that? Yeah. North, well, I hope the robot gambled that we weren't going to continue this suit because East might have a singleton and played a low diamond to tell us that they want the lowest suit led. So here we're not going to need Trump, so it's between hearts and clubs. If I was playing with my favorite partner, they would play the three of the three of uh, diamonds here to tell me to switch to a club. I don't know whether I'm giving the robot too much credit, not enough credit, who knows? But I did what I thought was right and played ace of clubs in another club and found my partner with this uh, the miracle rough. So we'll probably we'll probably have an all right score for that one. Bit worried about force uh, this three spades off one, but okay. Let's have a look. Uh, we've got three more hands to go, so we'll try and get through them as promptly as possible. Spade on our left, partner bid two hearts showing five. So we'll just raise it. The partner gave us game. We quite like this. We've got lots of good values here. Yeah. Aces and kings. Even the king queen of clubs are pretty good because they're touching. So they may be they may be two or three tricks even. Again, we'll draw some trumps. I'll play one to the king. Ah, there was ace queen over us. There wasn't that much we could do. Uh, okay, we can trump this and claim the rest of the tricks. So there wasn't too much that hand, really. We've just got lots of tricks. Once we lose two hearts, all of our clubs are winners. All of our diamonds are winners in the north hand. Yeah. Oh, Margaret's asking why you open a club. Uh, when you're playing better minor, the American style, uh, you tend to open uh, a minor when you don't have a five card major. Um, in the well, in the sort of more common better minor style, if you're three three in the minors, you open a club. 
And if you're four, four in the minors, you open a diamond. It's an agreement thing. Um, again, if you're in Adam, if you're in Adam's class, I'm sure you can pimp and ask him about that. But it, it's a, yeah, it's, it's one of the quirks of the system. Okay. How many points have we got here? 15 to 17. And we've got an O-Trump. We should open an O-Trump. Ignore what happened on board one. <laughs> Partners told us to bid diamonds. We're going to bid diamonds. See what comes back. Okay. Let's stick in the nine at no extra cost. They're switching to spades for us. Oh. This is worrying. We might we might be suffering a diamond or a spade rough here. Oh, we survived. Just about. Okay. So. It was actually slightly bad technique for me there, but We'll ignore that. <laughs> yeah, we can throw the heart loser away. And then we've got the rest of the tricks. The diamonds are winners, the king of hearts, and the ace of clubs. So, a bit unfortunate there. Well, fortunate that we made so many tricks. Unfortunate that we weren't in a game. Swings and roundabouts, really, isn't it? Okay. What have we got here? Looks like we've got 13 high card points, seven hearts. Ah, four hearts is preemptive. Partner might not take us seriously. So we'll just bid one heart. North says they've got 12 to 14 points. I just want to play in four hearts. I don't really have many other reasons, really. Um, here we've got three top losers. Here are three aces to lose. So let's hope there's no club rough. Oh, the club's getting a bit closer to being roughed. We'll play the jack to try and convince them that I've got a singleton. They switched away from it, so we'll make the rest of the tricks now. And draw trumps. Just in case we fail to count and there are any lurkers, and then we can claim. Nice easy hand. Looks very normal to play in four hearts and make ten tricks. With my regular partner, I'd have probably opened, I'd have probably bid four hearts over one club. <laughs> Told our partner where we wanted to play. But, okay, so. I never liked this bit. <laughs> We've got uh, a click here to see provisional results. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Could be better. Oh. So I mean to click this. Okay. So now we should probably do it back. Oh, okay. <laughs> so a no trump off two actually worked out really well. This is where I may have accidentally not opened a strong no trump and opened a diamond. Um, <laughs> I'll remember not to do that next time. Uh, three no Trump made, this is where they had lots of hearts between them and didn't decide to knock out my ace, so that would be a good board. Three spades off one, 48%, that's about average, slightly below as you can see it's in red. I don't mind that, let's see if we can zoom in a bit. There we go. <laughs> I don't mind that, considering that we went off in a contract, 48%, I'll take that. Four hearts making... Oh yeah, that, that was this uh, 
dodgy four heart contracts, right? Where we were an eight card fit, what, 22 high card points? Yeah, 90%, 99%'s about, right? <laughs> Bit of a horrific contract, but yeah, it's where the where the more experienced players get their edge. They don't give up in contracts that don't look very nice. They keep going. <laughs> Three spades off two was below average. Oh, interesting. Okay. Some people doing better. The last couple of boards were all pretty routine. Four hearts plus one. Three diamonds plus two and four hearts making. All about average. So 67%. is normally about 12,000 people playing. We'll probably be in the mm, top 1,500 maybe. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, a good tournament. The boards that I think went wrong didn't really go super wrong in terms of percentage-wise. Yeah, if you have any hands, please send it to the hello at or hello LBO BBO account. If it's not on BBO, will you? Uh, technology isn't your friend, and maybe you can't do that. You can always send them to hello at learnbridgeonline.com. Yeah. Then I'll see it, or if I'm not around, Bajir will send it to me. And then we can use it on the stream and, uh, yeah, chat about it if you've got any questions. Other than that... <laughs> The last three hands were a bit super quick, so I think we're a bit ahead of schedule here. Um, yeah, thanks everyone for coming. And uh, yeah, hope to see you here next week. I'll be back here again at the same time. So if you enjoyed, yeah, come back and have a watch next week. Thanks, Jane. Thanks, Margaret, Julia. Good as always. Okay. Yeah, that's about it. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Hope to see you next week. Bye.